at 10 o'clock. All right. And now we're going to get a new subpoena from the district attorney's office. This is a court order. So please be back here at Monday, 10 o'clock. Is it going to be uh, written in writing? No, I'm telling you right now, you're not going to get another writing. You're not going to get anything on the I'm just I'm telling you right now, orally to be back. All right, and, and what I'm telling you is a, an official court order, so you have to come back. Okay. I have no in addition to this. I will give him a subpoena as well, so he has a paper for it. All right, take it, sir. Thank you. Okay. Can you ask him for his first name? Carnage. Oh, yes, you can bring him like right there. Yes, sir. You want his name written down? Uh, or at current address, just a little like. Su domicilio ahorita es ese, el domicilio. When you've got your number called, you look like the most surprised person in the world. <laughs> uh, how do you feel about uh, being a juror? In this case, you've heard a lot, a little bit about it. You see TV cameras. You see how long things have been taking so far. Uh, well, um, th this was actually my very first jury duty, so. I didn't, I didn't know what the process was like. So. It's not always like this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I, I guess I wasn't, you know, I'm, I'm a numbers guy, so I was like, probability of me being the next guy. Right. Uh, it just, I guess I just got love to draw, so. Okay. Do right. you have pets? Um, not currently, but when I lived with my mom and dad, we had pets, yeah. Okay, okay. Any strong feelings about animals one way or the other? Um, no, not one. Right. How about theft? I mean, everybody's gotten something stolen from them at one point or another in life, even if it was just a pencil in grade school. I mean, have you ever had a, a serious issue with uh, having something taken from you? No, I don't think so. Oh, good. You're fortunate then. Anything else we need to know about you, juror number two, before we decide on who's going to be in this jury? You're an open book? Nothing? <clears throat> okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Juror number 19, how are you doing, sir? Good. You're a truck driver, and it sounds like you've been a truck driver for some time. Now, this case, I mean, has some facts related to truck driver. Um, the chickens involved in this case were um, taken from a truck. Um, is, is theft something that you worry about just in your normal duties? Like, have you ever had someone take something from your truck? No. No? Oh, you said no. Like, that, that would never happen? Or is it like you have a truck that locks or is it a reefer? Or? I have a lock. Oh, you have a lock. Okay. All right. Um, well, yeah, I mean, there are different types of trucks where some are more accessible than than others. You've never driven a truck that was not blocking? Okay. All right. How about just in your normal life? Do you, is that something that you are uh, concerned about? Theft and having things taken from you? No? no. Okay. Not at all? Okay. Um, thank you for being open and disclosing your prior experience uh, with us. Did that leave you with any particularly bad taste in your mouth? one way or the other about our justice system and how it works? Did you feel like you were treated fairly? Okay. Well, uh, anything else that we should know about you, juror number 19? No. Okay. Are you uh, willing to stick with us through the duration of this case and render a, 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 a just verdict and not rush through these, these proceedings? Yes. All right, well, and I think you're coming back all these days in the audience is indicative of that, right? All right. Well, thank you. Thank you, sir. Juror number 20, how are you doing? Good. Good, good, good. So, um, 
Now, I, I have heard that on delivery trucks that theft is, is a concern. I mean, I, I think I read last year about how an entire Amazon truck got taken and somebody did a joyride on it. Is that something that you, uh, is that something that you worry about in your normal daily duties at work? Uh, not something I worry about, but I know it could happen. Yeah, yeah. There's never, nothing like that has actually ever happened to you, though. No. Okay. Um, how about you? Do you have pets? I have a pet, yeah. What kind of pet? Dogs. Okay. And long time pet, new pet? No. I've been for like 12 years now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great. What kind? Dotson. Okay. All right. Well, Dotsons tend to live a little bit longer than some yeah. of the other breeds, right? Yeah. Still energetic? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I probably gained about 10 pounds too, so. <laughs> okay, well, that's, that's all right. But, but uh, long time friend, sounds like. Yeah, definitely. Right, right. Um, you treat them like family? Yeah. Sleep in your room? No, not in my room, but in the house, you know. In the house? Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Now, I know, I mean, jury uh, services, nobody here is feeling like this is a convenient thing. I'm sure everybody would rather be doing something else. But is there anything particular about being a drill in this case that you're like, really? I'm missing my work for this? Or is I it mean, just, yeah, am I, I missing my that. work for jury duty? No, I thought about it, yeah. Okay, tell me what you thought about it. I mean, to be honest, you know, I'm kind of not used to sitting in a room all day. I'd rather be out there. Sure. Uh, but it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. But, and, and your, is, and I'm not saying you're frustrated, you seem like you're really calm, cool, and collected, but to the extent that you have any thoughts about, you know, you'd rather that this is a little bit inconvenient, is it related to the fact that it's this case or just that it's jury duty? Uh, I just said it's jury duty. Okay, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Anything else we should know about you? Any um, hobbies or any uh, thing you do in your spare time that you think might bring the bear on a case like this? No. no? And you're confident that if you were a juror that you'd want to know the answer to the why. It wouldn't be the video's there and, and we're done. Yeah, I mean, definitely curious. Okay. How about you, sir? I'm just going to bounce back. Thank you, juror number 20. Would, are you interested in answering the why question in this case? Um, I think I talked a little bit yesterday about there's going to be a video, so you're going to see what happened. Um, but are you going to wait to render a decision until you figure out how it happened or why it happened. Yes? Yes, I'm going to wait. Okay, all right. Juror number two, you'll wait to, you'll wait to hear everything? You want to know all the facts? Yeah, I, I'd like to know everything before I make a decision. All right. Um, you're not one of those people who walks out on a movie in the middle sometimes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am. <laughs> but anyway, um, thank you. All right. All right, thank you, Council. All right, Council, let's go. Through the preemptory challenge was in see where we are. Okay. Uh, let's see who. I think it was, was it. The people next. The challenge. Okay. Should I get it? Yeah. The people pass. Yeah. Okay. And I think the uh, defense have exhausted their joint challenges. So, Mr. Sean? I think we still have 10. Oh, you mean individual? Okay, so our joint Yeah, challenges. now it's just an individual, five each. Excuse uh, juror number five. Juror number five. Thank you, ma'am. All right, uh, juror thirteen. Would you go to seat number five? Um, Mr. 
Mr. Little. Your Honor, the, the defense would like to thank and excuse the new juror number five. The juror number five? Okay. <laughs> thank you, sir. That's good. All right, uh, C15, juror 15, would you take seat number five, please? The people pass. pass. People pass. Okay. Mr. Sherman. Your Honor, we will thank and excuse uh, juror number nine. Juror number nine. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Okay, juror 16, would you proceed? Mr. Lowe. Defense would like to thank and excuse Juror 12. Juror 12. Okay, thank you, sir. All right, ma'am, we'll take C12, please. Thank you. Mr. Chairman. Ms. Paul will pass. Okay. Mr. Lowe. On behalf of Mr. I'm, I'm sorry. On behalf of Ms. Centurion, we also pass. Okay. All right. Um, we'll come back to the people. The people pass. People pass. Okay. 
All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that means that we have the 12 regular jurors, okay? Uh, before we go proceed to the next step, I'm going to have you stand and raise your right hand and be sworn. This book, alternate jurors, with, um, with their only regard to the first two. So, Your Honor, this would be uh, just 19 and 20, oh no, 18 and 19, correct? Right. Would be the current alternates. And my understanding is each party receives two strikes and the uh, prosecution will receive four in total? No, each party receives one. Okay. I, 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 if I remember the code section, yeah, they say, I think it's an amount of equal to the number of alternates we have. So if there are two alternates, I think we each receive two and the state will receive four? Although I do not see a provision about um, in the code of that there any additional alternate it's it, uh, peremptories is due to multiple defendants. I can check your honor if you wish. What's the code section? I believe, it, I believe it's 234. To the CCP? <coughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, the California uh, Civil Procedure, Your Honor. But, uh, quotes, however, each side, each, each defendant, uh, or each defendant as provided by 231 shall be entitled to many preemptive challenges as to the alternate jurors. As there are alternate jurors called. Yep. Right, so there are two, right? So two for injury challenges per side. Or for each defendant, so I think I was, sorry, Your Honor, I think I was incorrect. Okay. 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 I think the code section does say for each defendant, Your Honor. Your Honor, the, Ms. Paul would like to thank and excuse juror number 19. Juror yeah, number 19? Okay, thank you, sir. And juror 20, if you could just move one seat.
Okay. Uh, people? The people pass. All right, Mr. Chairman. Your Honor, uh, Ms. Paul also passes. Okay, all right, excellent. Okay, uh, so juror uh, 18, juror 19, would you stand, please? Both of you are the two alternates. I'm going to have you raise your right hand. Do you understand that you were asked as an alternate juror in the cause now pending before this court by listening attentively to the evidence and the instruction of the court and that you will act as the trial juror when called upon? Please say that you will. All right, thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, juror 21 and the, the rest of you, uh, again, I want to thank you very much for being here. I know it's, uh, you sacrifice a tremendous amount of your time uh, to be here. Uh, I, I would say what you have done this week is uh, a lot more than a simple inconvenience for you, although we've been saying this is an inconvenience for you. You have truly uh, shown tremendous uh, obligation and commitment to your civic duty. And for that, I want to thank you sincerely on behalf of this court, on behalf of this county. And I know there's a lot of things uh, that's happening right now in terms of uh, the rain, uh, and that also worries you, but you are here. And so I want to thank you sincerely. I'm, you, all, uh, you have completed your jury service for this year. You are excused, and I wish all of you well and safe. Thank you. you let me tell you the schedule, okay? Um, as you said, next Tuesday at 10. Okay, well, actually, it might work because next Tuesday, the 14th, we don't start until 1.30. Okay, is that what we're going to do? If it takes two to three hours, I don't know how long it's going to be. Okay, if it's at 10, let's say two hours, and you can be back here by 1.30, you'll be okay. Yeah, but, yeah. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to impress upon you to do that. And then if you talk to your doctor, okay, if you think that can't be done, you know, and you can't be back here by 2.30 because the examination is going to take too long, uh, I want you to reschedule that, okay? Reschedule that to the week after that, okay? Again, we're still planning to finish this trial by the end of next week, okay? I'm sorry, we, you know, we... If we had you had brought this earlier, we would have addressed it. And but we're in this bind now. And I gotta have you here, okay? All right. But it, it should work. Yeah, I know it's getting a little bit tight for you, but we're not gonna have court Tuesday until 1:30, okay? All right. So in terms of scheduling, then, ladies and gentlemen, what I want you to do is uh, on Monday we're gonna start at 10. Okay, um, again, it'll be from 10 to 12, 1 30 to 4. We'll start with opening statements on Monday. And then I anticipate by Monday afternoon we should be able to start with witness testimony. On uh, Tuesday, we will not start until 1 30. On uh, Wednesday, we will start at 10 o'clock, the same schedule as Monday. Thursday, same schedule as Monday and Wednesday. Friday, we will not start until 1.30, okay? Um, and I know my, the court's plan was to have the jury pick by yesterday, I think before yesterday. But as you know, that didn't happen. It is what it is, as I told you earlier at the beginning of the jury selection process. Uh, jury trials are dynamic, they're not static, they're not, uh, you know, we, we don't have, um, as much control of what's going on as we think we could. And both sides are entitled to make sure that they can pick a jury that's very impartial. So it takes time to do that. And so if we don't finish by next Friday, we will continue until the following week as well. All right? Can I yeah. Sorry. Yes. So Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Yes, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday okay. starts at 10. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good job. All right. Uh, is, there, is there another paper I can get from my employer yes. besides just that one sheet I pick up every day upstairs? That you are on the jury? Yeah. Um, yeah. That you can print out a schedule that I can give? Um, or no? Yeah, if you go to the uh, jury selection office, let them know that your pick as a jury, they can hopefully give you a long, longer term okay. uh, paper. Okay. Well, I'm not 
gosh, but they can do that or just do uh, day and I'm, I'm not positive. You can get one at, also at the end that'll indicate the days for the whole trial, too. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any other questions from the jury? Okay. All right. Thank you, counsel. Um, well, let's, uh, if you haven't already submitted, I think the defense has already submitted their jury instructions, proposed jury instructions. If you haven't already, please do that. And if you would be get ready to go by 10 o'clock, please, please be here about 9.45 or something. On Monday. All right. Okay, uh, courts in recess. And ladies and gentlemen, my bailiff is going to take you. Do you want to do it here? or? I'll take you over in the, in the, in the deliberation. deliberation room. Okay, so please so follow the bailiff to the George Bush. Once you sign, the sheet is not a minor issue of question. Okay. All right. Yeah. Counsel, obviously, please do that because if, if you're going to present any exhibits, they haven't been admitted into evidence, and so um, unless you know, the people have no objection, then you can talk about that. If they have an objection, you cannot. They cannot be published to the jury until they are admitted. Your Honor, I, I am planning to defer my opening to the close of the state's evidence. I have a PowerPoint that has okay. words on it alone. Okay. Uh, should I just give them a copy and make sure they're okay with it? Would you have an objection to a PowerPoint just with words on it? Uh, the PowerPoint with words, no. We are just talking about items of evidence. Uh, we, okay. we would not object to uh, what we'll call the video of the, the taking of the chickens, but other evidence we may object if there's anything they want to introduce in opening. Just give us an opportunity to object before we present it to the jury as our only question. Okay. Yeah, Two other matters for us, just briefly, Your Honor. One is, I think we would, if Your Honor would give us leave to amend our proposed instructions, also add CalCrim number 106, jurors asking questions to our list of proposed instructions for the jury to be read. I'll, 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 I'll provide that. Okay. Yeah, so, usually do. Great. Thank you, Your Honor. So CalCrim 106. And then uh, lastly, if, if it wouldn't belabor the clerk too much, it would be nice to have a list of the jurors just so I can make sure my list is actually accurate. Okay. If the, if the clerk could provide us a list, because I think I have the right numbers and people, but I'd like to confirm that sure. before I leave today. All right. I know the court's standard order is to return the jury list at the end of selection. Is that still the order in this case? Yes. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Uh, counsel, the court has uh, signed the order regarding the gag order issue. I'm going to have the clerk file that and, and, and provide copies to both. All right. Uh, Okay, counsel. Well, of course, you said. Have a good weekend. We'll see you Monday. Thank, Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor. Yeah.